joins in Fusion 360. In the assemble menu here, you can join two bytes together. Or you can join two components together. So, let's try this. First, if you create something Fusion, you normally create bodies. So, we have to convert these bodies into components. So, we choose the first body and go up here and say new component. And we click OK for the first one, and let's do it also for the second one. Perfect. Now we have two bodies that we can join together. But first of all, we have to take the first body, that is our base, to ground it. Ground means that now I can't move it anymore, and you can see I can move this body here. So this will set and uh, sit flat and will stay steady. So let's join two components together. So first of all, we can go here up and we the first one we will choose is the body which will move. So you can see here the grounded component is grayed out. So we will choose this one here. And we go down here on the and we'll choose it at this point and we will go to the grounded body and we'll choose this point here. And now you can see we have the motion rigid. Let's like weld it together. We can also take a revolute that will turn it on the point. You have the slider, you have cylindrical. And you have a pencil. You also can choose planar or moving like a ball. So, but we need Richard. Perfect. So we say OK, and everything is like bolted and take bolted together. So I can take it, and I can't move it anymore. So it will sit tight together. So. Let's take some uh, other components and take a look at some uh, other joints and make one function model. I have created in my project here some six. Let's import this bracket first. Move it like where we nearly want it and say OK. Take on some spacers, which we will need later. So and one more. Perfect. Okay. Now, if you take a look at the bracket, you can see it's have a much bigger hole than the base. To join them together, we have these spacers here. So first of all, we want these spacers also tech welded, like on the bracket. So we do it again. Our joint. Take our first component here at this point, and this point should be welded on this one here. Awesome. And let's do this on the other one. We go again on joints, take our first face here and the second one here, and they go together. You have the animation, perfect. So the next thing is we want to have this bracket turning around the axis of the base here. So we have the first problem we have here is, is that the bracket is wider than the base. To uh, join them together in a perfect way, we can uh, choose here between faces. So first of all, we will choose the face of the bracket. We want to. And now we say snap, and snap means it's going on the axis between the cylindrical form and the form of what we will choose, like here. Perfect. Now we also have to do it for the second component, and that's our base. We choose the two faces, which go between together, and the axis. And now you can see the real line up. And you also see the other bodies, also the spacers we had before, will stay up here. But it only will do that because it um, uh, will take too much power for the computer to also calculate this here. So if you say OK, you can say they come back here. So now they are tech welded like here together, but that isn't that what we wanted. So let's go back in the joint. And we go here in the motion and say revenue. And you can see 
The bracket will turn around the axis here. Perfect. That's like that. What do you want? Say okay. So let's take a bow, stick it together, and make a knot on it, and see how it will look. So let's take this here and insert into the current design. We have the current. Awesome. Perfect. And we will assemble it. And we again will take here. And here. And we don't want to like tag wall it, it should rotate here, and you can see that we rotate. Awesome. And say it okay. And the only thing that is missing is the nut on the other side. And let's insert this here in my design. So perfect. And you can see um, uh, that the uh, points will start jumping all around. In, uh, on Windows it's like um, uh, Control, on Mac it's Command. If you keep pushing it, you can take the face and can choose where you want to choose it. So, the point. So it, will don't, it will, wouldn't jump around. But we need the other side of it. So we go here on the face, push Command, go in here, and we choose the first one. Same thing we also need up here. So you can see, I go here and I went to grab this, you come coming on the other, on the bolt. So let's push command again, go inside, choose it. And you can see it's turning, but it should be tech bomber, perfect, say OK. And now you can see we have a finished model. So if I take it up here, I can move it in every direction, like we created. But now you can see I can go down here in the... Uh, the component, but that's unrealistic, so we have to, uh, yeah, stop. So let's take a look how we do this. Now we can see we created joints and we have the folder joints here. So we go on the uh, joint between uh, the bracket and the base. It's like this one here. And right click on it and say edit joint limits. We yeah, need a maximum and we need a minimum. So the maximum should be like minus 100 and the positive side should be 100. So we say OK and now you can see I can't move it further than this here and further on the other side. Yeah, that's our first experience with joints and later on the course we will create a little robot or we'll take a lamp from the previous course and we'll animate it completely.